What's going on, guys? It's Juancho. This is Vibe. And Darth Flex. We are now doing episode two. Part two of the Rogue Journey to Countdown of the Rogue One. I hate you for messing up this, <laughs> this title. <laughs> Today we're talking about Young Sagara. I'm Sagara. The first animated character to be translated to live action. Now this is monumental. So backstory, guys. He is a terrorist, according to the. To the no. <laughs> Saul was a young freedom fighter for Andron after a king took seat yeah. in Andron. The, the wrongful king. So give us, give us the the uh, the timeline. Um, episode, we're talking about we're talking about during Clone, Wars, Clone Wars, right? Before this maybe a couple is, I would say months or years before this is before the second battle of Geonosis. Okay. But after the first battle of Geonosis. Yeah. Okay, so during the Clone Wars. Yeah. It's during the height of the Clone Wars. Yes, yeah, so he, he was, was a freedom fighter fight. trying to overthrow the king and he asked to help the Republic, but the Jedi did not want to actually adapt guerrilla or terrorist tactics mm -hmm. which they used, but they did send Jedi to go train and help. A lot of um People have like mixed feelings about him because of his tactical warfare. They say him he's more of a terrorist mm -hmm. than a freedom fighter because but, he uses controversial tactics, yes. like you know. But it works. And you, and you but, see, it, and you, but it's effective. And you see that the people um, end up picking his sister as a leader than him himself. Well, they're both necessary. You need the one person to give. You know the good appearance to people mm -hmm. and make sure that they're doing the, the right face thing. Of them, they right. need the person to do the down, you know, dirty thing. They need to get done in order to, you know, right. be free. And do what you got to do. Or is it nice? This is a character that was created for the animated it's, series. It's good how you know you put uh, Forrest Whitaker's face and you compare it to the animated face of him, and you see some similarities I, that, I, that I, in the I, eyes I, and I, like the, 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 the scar. anger, the scar, the anger that he has, like. Well, he, he looks like a worn, withered, you know, yeah. warrior. Like, he seems Talking defeated. about withered, I don't know if you noticed, in the first trailer they showed a Forrest Whitaker or Saul Guerrero right. with, like, a bushy beard. You know, the first, you know, you mean the second one. The first one, he was bald and he was clean shaven. Yeah, and I don't know where they have him all, all, like... All, yeah, all grayed out and whatever. The military ages you really quickly. So, or is it like a flashback? Like, maybe, maybe when or he's maybe younger... This is, and maybe this is after, because, you know, he does sister does die because of a decision he right. made. But I don't think when they showed him the trailer that was anywhere near that time. But I think it was probably fine because I'm pretty sure the movie opens up with a flashback. I'm excited about this. Probably. Because it's going to open more doors to either Ezra being a... showing up as in a movie somehow or someone just showing up from the animated series. Why? Just because of this you believe that any... like like everybody's on the table now? I know we did speculate... From, 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 from Rebels. From Rebels or Clones or... or um, Wars. I wonder why they chose his character though. Because, but he's been mentioned. He's been mentioned in Bloodline. Right. He's been mentioned in several. But, they, several. but somebody made a decision to look through all the characters in the Clone Wars I and say this guy should be the first one to be translated to live action. That's a, that's a question you need to ask. I, why him? I think it's because of the importance of Andron and what takes place as far as the Death Star and everything. So I mean, I would assume having a freedom fighter, which I think later on he becomes a lieutenant or a general. Or something, so. okay. All right. Well, tell us guys below what you think about the first animated character being translated to live action. Do you like the casting? Do you like it? Who else do you want to see? And uh, I guess that's it. Check back with us tomorrow for our part three to the journey countdown of the Rogue One, a Star Wars movie. Oh God, you ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> Where we'll discuss, what are we discussing? The next episode we're discussing, a really good book. It's Rogue One Catalyst, a rather interesting prequel to the prequel that we're gonna watch. Yes. Check us out. Next time. Keep bros. Loot crate. Did the tip. Dark Flex. Dark Flex Star Wars. Geek Bros. Countdown of the journey to Rogue One. A four-part special continues all week. It's journey into Rogue One.